What is up everybody? So you want more FPS and not lose quality? Here are some new and old tricks. Make sure to follow each step. And also for NVIDIA users, this guide will be extra effective. Some steps have often been covered before, but I just wanted to include them because they do work. If you want to skip one, then just follow the timestamps. Let's go. To make this easy, let's just, just follow my steps. If you don't have a, like a magnifying glass like me, the thing you want to do is go to your bar, go to search, then show, show search icon. Now, once you have done that, I want you to click on it, type in a game, open this, enable game mode, then go to Xbox game bar and disable it. Let's go to the next one. Now, the next thing you want to do is go to your desktop, right mouse button, go to display settings, scroll down, go to graphic settings and make sure Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling is on. It says you have to reboot your PC. You can do that afterwards of this video once all the changes are made, as you have to reboot your PC anyways. Now, once you have done that, I want you to scroll down. And here we're gonna add some of your favorite games. Now, each game has a different location, but I just want you to add the XE file. Now, I'm just gonna pick a popular game so you can see how the process goes. Go to Browse, let's do this over, mine is on the C, C file or C, C disk, go to Call of Duty, Cold War or whatever game you want to add. It's usually a pretty large file, the .exe file, add it, here it is added and it says let Windows decide, I want you to change it to high performance. Save it and that's it, let's go to the next one. Now, the next thing you want to do is go, go to your search icon and type in disk. Run the disk cleanup. You can select everything that you do not want to use. Free up some space. Always good to have some more space. And once that is done, I want you to type defrag in the search bar I wrote it wrong, doesn't matter. <laughs> you can read it. I want you to optimize your drives. Let it run. It'll organize your drives so that it'll run smoothly. It's been trimmed. If you have an SSD, this process is super quick, like you can see over here. Now, the next step, I don't think it makes that much difference, but I'm, I'm going to include it anyway you got to delete your temporary files. And the way you do that is you go to Windows, Run, type in percentage, temp percentage, OK. Select all by like hovering your mouse over it or pressing Control A. Now, usually it gives a little hiccup if I do this because it says some files are still in use. You can keep those files. It says you'll need administrative permission to delete this folder, continue. And well, these folders are off today, so you don't have to do that. So you can skip these, do this for all. Now this step is we go to the search bar again, we type in advanced, it pops up over here. You go to advanced, then you go to performance, settings and you choose adjust for best performance. Now what it does is it disables all the little windows animations. Now personally, I am not a fan of this, so I will keep this off, but it does squeeze out all the little bits. So for some of you, this might be a good option. The next thing you want to do is go to the search bar, type in energy or edit power plan, go to change advanced power settings and make sure high performance is active. Usually it's set to balance. High performance will maximize your CPU usage. So that'll squeeze out more FPS. Now, the next thing you'd want to do is you want to press Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager, open this up, go to Startup and make sure you disable all unnecessary 
programs you do not want to run on the background or when the computer boots up because it's incredible how many um, programs some people have running in the background and this does significantly reduce your performance so go through the list make sure all the unnecessary programs are turned off now here is where it gets interesting for those who do not have it yet i strongly urge you to download geforce experience you can do that on the official nvidia website now once you have downloaded that you can either open it from down here in the bottom on the icon section or you type in nvidia and it will say nvidia geforce experience you can open it up make sure on the driver section that your latest drivers are downloaded and then go to in-game overlay now a lot of people are saying you should disable it but hold on i've got a little trick for you guys make sure this is enabled and make sure this box is checked it will download a little update and let me show you what it does I'm going to include a little troubleshoot here because some people are experiencing some problems. If they download this update, they do not instantly get this new tab because if you downloaded the update, you should have like a performance tab over here. We'll get right into that, but some quick troubleshoot. If you do not see this yet, then do reboot your PC right now and get back to the video or reinstall GeForce Experience. Make sure you have the latest version because that is mandatory for it to work. Now, if it does work and you're one of the lucky ones, you see a new tab here called performance. We'll dive right into it, but firstly, we'll quickly go over the settings. I want you to click on the cogwheel, go to highlights and make sure this is disabled because what it does is it keeps recording little bits of your game and that does make your performance worse. So make sure that this is deselected then go down and make sure the photo or game filter is also deselected. These are not necessary. Then go back, go to done. And now we're going to go to the performance tab. What I want you to do is I want you to enable automatic tuning. Click on this while you are in the desktop. This will take some time depending on how fast your system is. What it does is it will find the sweet spot for your GPU. For me, it added some more megahertz. This might seem like a small thing, but some of you might have very poorly optimized GPUs, and this can absolutely significantly increase your performance. Once this new um, add-on has run, I want you to make sure once it is done, to set a safe target temperature. Put it somewhere between 65, 70, or whatever you feel comfortable with. This is really the sweet spot of this video. This makes a lot of difference. Now, the last step is I want you to go to the desktop, right click and open the NVIDIA control panel. Go to adjust settings with, or adjust image settings with a preview use advanced 3d image settings take me there copy these settings i have set here i'll slowly scroll through them so you can copy them pause the video if it's going too fast then go to program settings copy these as well these also make a lot of difference yours might be different depending on what GPU you are using. Now I'm going to end the video with a few more tips and these are pretty logical, but I just wanted to like print it in your head. If you have Google Chrome running in the background, that takes a lot. And I mean a lot of RAM memory. You definitely do not want to run Google Chrome in the background when you are gaming. It does really affect your performance. Also, one of the most popular voice programs is Discord. And what I want you to do is go to the settings down, minus set to Dutch, I'm sorry for that. 
go to the overlay and disable the overlay. All the overlays do affect your performance a little. Now, also a thing to keep in mind is that when you are playing a game and your FPS is too low, lower your graphical settings. What is he saying? Does he offer a sensor? No, Master Glon, he's offering you more FPS. Well, that was it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something and I hope you get a lot more FPS from this. So if you did do it yet, then please leave a like on the video and subscribe. That really helps. Thank you so much. Peace out, guys.